This week we are getting you ready for the start of college football season by featuring several Michigan universities and getting a preview of their team. Earlier we talked about the Wayne State Warriors and our next school. Well, uh, they closed out the 2021 season by defeating Nevada in the Quick Lane Bowl, which was played at Ford Field right here in downtown Detroit. I'm talking about the Broncos and we are talking. Uh, we are joined now by the head coach of Western Michigan, uh, the Broncos. We've got Tim Le Lester here. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Are you excited that it's finally game week? Yes, we wait, we wait a long time to have a chance, and uh, and we, we kick off this Friday. We're excited about it. Awesome. Okay, so tell me, how have you used that quick lane bull win to motivate your team this offseason? Yeah, the momentum from that game and, and really the crowd and it being, you know, at, at Ford Field and the crowd was unbelievable, obviously, in our favor over Nevada. Uh, really gave us momentum heading into the off season, and, and it, well, we had a great off season in summer, and and now we get to roll all that out on Friday. And so I'm guessing, do you have a lot of players returning from last year? Yeah, defensively especially, we have pretty much our whole defense. We lost one or two players. Offensively, we have a little bit more turnover. We got some new guys that are here that'll be playing for the first time, uh, and we're not going far. I mean, it's right up the road. We get to go to East Lansing and play a great. Michigan State team, so it'll be a, it'll be a great atmosphere on Friday night on ESPN. All right, well, probably a lot of uh, fans traveling, making that drive as well. Um, how much are you relying on the leadership of your returning players to help you achieve your goals this season? Well, it's huge. You know, we're going to be in a in a great environment uh, in Spartan Stadium. You know, so those guys that have been there many times and been and played in the bowl game and, and been in those type of uh, atmospheres. Uh, can really help the young guys. You know, we just need to settle down and play. Uh, and veterans seem to settle down and play sooner than uh, than young guys. So hopefully those guys do a good job of leading and, and get us calmed down and, and, and we can we can get out there and start playing our, our brand of football sooner rather than later in game one when there's a lot of jitters. Absolutely. So, Tim, uh, it's been announced that Jack Selopek is a redshirt freshman, is going to lead your offense this year. What has he shown you to win that starting job? Well, you know, he, he always had, he, I always said he was in the pole position. He's, he was our backup last year, our quarterback, Caleb, moved on to the NFL, and um, and he's played great. He hasn't really even given any, anyone a chance to really uh, beat him out because he's just been super consistent. He can run the ball. He's super smart. Um, you know, he's very, you know, I've been very excited with the way he's played this, this camp. Now, he wears a red jersey. He doesn't get hit, you know, so uh, camp. Camp's a little bit easier for him. He's going to get hit now, and uh, but he's a tough kid from Pittsburgh, and um, you know I'm excited about him finally getting his chance. He's worked hard, waited his time, and, and his, his time is uh, this Friday. We're excited to get him uh, to see him out there. Uh, speaking of Friday, so you start the season with back-to-back -back road games uh, starting on Friday night in East Lansing. Now, can you give us a preview of your plan to go up against Michigan State, which isn't going to be an easy game? Oh, no, they're they're top 20. I mean, they won the Peach Bowl last year. Obviously, they're very talented. Uh, we know I, I think they, they have talent all over the place. Coach Tucker's done an unbelievable job of, of bringing in more talent, too. And obviously, we know their quarterback well and and, and their receiving core, I think, is pretty special. Um, so, I mean, it's going to and it's going to be a great environment, you know, so we're going to have to find ways to to run the ball, control the clock, you know, and, and play good defense. We got a lot of guys coming back, you know, slow down that passing game. Uh, they got to figure out who their running back is, so that'll be fun to kind of see as the game starts where they're at. But it's going to be a huge challenge for us, and, and these are the type of games we love to play. Uh, and then, of course, all leading up to the home opener on September 17th against Pittsburgh. Uh, so very, very excited to see what your team does this year. Thank you so much for joining us. Kim, thanks for having us. Absolutely.